they will have different effects depending on the size and, and the type that they are, meaning it's created in the mitochondria. Um, MOTC works to increase the number of mitochondria. Now, no one knows exactly how it's working. But Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I'm naturopathic Dr. Fiona Chin, and I'm joined again today by the wonderful MD, Morgan Camp. Morgan is an integrative doctor and he's been practicing for well over two decades. Dr. Camp, welcome again. Thank you again for sharing your wisdom and your time with our viewers. It's always greatly appreciated. Can you just describe to people what peptides are and why you and I are so passionate about them? Um, yeah, peptides are uh, basically chains of amino acids and some are shorter and some are longer. And they will have different effects depending on the size and, and the type that they are. Um, yeah, so, you know, so, so basically they're the constituents of, of uh, proteins. So peptides make, make up proteins. Uh, why do we like peptides? Because they have, a, um, uh, they have a lot of effects that are very specific on um, cellular function. So a lot of the peptides are are actually messengers that cells use to communicate with each other. What is MOXC and why are we so interested in it in things like kidney disease and diabetes? Um, right, so MOXC is a mitochondrial derived peptide, um, meaning it's created in the mitochondria. It does go outside the mitochondria and works on other cells. That's in contrast to SS31, which we'll talk about in a minute, which only works inside the mitochondria. The MOTC will work on, you know, and what does it do? So yeah, what, what all, how, how, how all does it act? Well, it works on the mitochondria first off. Mm -hmm. And the mitochondria, again, are the energy fuel sources or the energy sources, the furnaces, so to speak, inside of each cell. And, and we, as we age, we get less mitochondria and less quality mitochondria. So we get more damaged aged mitochondria. Um, MOTC works to increase the number of mitochondria as well as improving their function. Um, so that's one of the main ways it works. It also likely has some anti-inflammatory effects. Mm, yep. And um, likely MOTC also works to lower oxidative stress and the damage that oxidative stress has on the cells, though it's likely SS31 works better than MOTC on that regard. Yeah. Um, it does likely, uh, MOTC does likely have some role in uh, longevity. There is some speculation that perhaps certain uh, people like those in Japan might have higher amount of MOTC as they age. And we know that MOTC declines with aging and it declines with chronic illness and chronic diseases. Yeah, uh, especially with kidney disease and and those sort of Alzheimer's and those sort of things, right? That's what I know. That's the thing that's yep. what I've seen. Yep, absolutely. And as it declines, your exercise tolerance declines. So Motsi, another important way to think of it, it's scientists consider it to be an exercise mimetic, meaning it's the, the actions of it mimic all the benefits of exercise. So um, yeah, so as you take it, um, so they have studies where they've given it to elderly rats and the elderly rats were then able to perform exercise better than middle-aged rats, which, you know, is unusual. You know, if you, you know, for example, if you exercise 80 year old humans versus 50 year old humans, you'd be pretty shocked if the 80 year olds were to win the race um, yeah. most of the time. So if they were, you know, as long as they were the same weight and they had the same, you know, they, they weren't handicapped in other ways, of <laughs> course. Um, but, you know, so, so those are the, you know, that, that's how MOTC is working in some of the studies around it. Let's talk about SS31. Yeah. So SS31, there, you know, no one knows exactly how it's working, but yes. it does work by stabilizing the mitochondrial membrane. So we know that. So mm -hmm. there's a, there's a, um, component of the mitochondrial membrane, a phospholipid called cardiolipin or lipin. And um, as cardiolipin degrades and is oxidized, then the mitochondria are increase in damage. So basically anything you do to make the cardiolipin or cardiolipin uh, more stable will lead to better mitochondrial health and sta mitochondrial stability, it seems like in the research. 
Mm. Um, so what SS31 is doing is stabilizing that mitochondrial membrane. And these are the membrane, these are the inner mitochondrial membrane where a lot of the last, you know, where the electron transport system is happening. Basically, it's where oxygen and electrons are exchanged and ATP are produced. So it's where the final stages of energy production in the cells are, are um, taking place. And when you give SS31, it goes to those areas that have damage or or are weak and, mm -hmm. and activates them. It doesn't, so normal mitochondria are not affected by SS31. It does also go into the blood brain barrier and to the brain and therefore might have increased protection against, you know, uh, neurological illness like uh, cognitive decline and Alzheimer's, et cetera. Um, and there's still, there's a lot of ongoing studies around this and a lot more to come, of course. Yeah. Um, the main way it seems that SS31 is working is through protecting against reactive oxygen species. So when that cardiolipin is stabilized, then there's a lot less what's called peroxidation and other types of oxidative stress that damage the mitochondria, decreasing the number of uh, mitochondria and causing that damaging cascade that ends up with fibrosis. Um, in kidneys, especially. Um, mm. So in addition, SS31 does also, like Matsi, have anti-inflammatory effects. And it also, again, improves mitochondrial function. So it does increase ATP. It does increase energy production. So a lot of people, when they take uh, either SS31 and MOTC, they, they, they often will feel an increase in energy. Thank you. I really appreciate your time and wisdom as always. If you want to find out more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. Make sure you hit subscribe. That way you'll get notified anytime we do new videos. And Dr. Camp is always really generous with his time. So I know we've got a couple of great podcasts coming up in the next few weeks. And make sure you head over to our Facebook page, Facebook forward slash Kidney Coach. All right. Thank you so much for being part of our community. We look forward to seeing you next time. And again, Dr. Camp, thank you always for your time.